Cultural Spotlight, presented by the Marion County Public Health Department. In 2020, J.P. Morgan Chase and company commissioned a unique study of small business ecosystems all around the country. The objective, you may ask, to understand the current needs of entrepreneurs of color within those ecosystems. So to impact that report and its findings from the city of Indianapolis, we welcome in which TV contributor, Emil Ekior. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So the study was done during the COVID-19 pandemic. Has that followed business owners into this year? So yes. So that study was done at the height of the George Floyd murder right during COVID. Um, a lot of um, emotions around the environment, around black businesses of what needed to be done. So the timing of the study was so perfect for J.P. Morgan Chase to come into Indy, bring in 100 plus community members, business owners, um, professionals, um, nonprofits, all to the table to say, you know, let's, let's examine the small business ecosystem in central Indiana all of the activities, all of the resources, asset mapping, and let's come up with a report as far as what needs to be done. So um, that study was very, very complex, um, and the study is around today for us all to see. Okay, um, let's talk about uh, keeping things local. Small businesses, of course, as we know, are core to the national economy. They're core to uh, the local economy as well. Uh, as well. Here's a stat. Locally, more than 65% of revenue from small businesses stays local. It's pretty big. Yes, it definitely is. Um, businesses are circulating wealth in the community. They're working together. Um, the hairdresser is buying products from um, the beauty shop down the street. Um, then the hairdresser is, 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 is working with clients. So those dollars are circulating with small businesses every day. So we need those small businesses vibrant and working strong in our community. And we need to make sure they have the resources to stay vibrant. Okay, um, so you read through the report and you came up with a solution or two. Yeah, so one of the takeaways from the report was we need to be able to connect business owners to resources. Um, Central Indiana is resource rich, but a lot of times we don't get a chance to share where those resources are, how the small business owner can, a can access those re resources, and a lot of times we do a one size fit all. So what we were able to do was create a persona of different small business owners. From the micro business owner that makes, as a solopreneur, makes 70 k or less, to the SME who makes between $250,000 to $600,000 a year. The resources needed for that SME is totally different from the resources needed for the micro business. So how do we make sure we create a tool that gets the resources directly to the business owner that needs it? So if I'm a micro business, I'm a solopreneur, I make 70000 I need some resources, I need a small loan, who do I go to, where do I get that from? If I'm a bigger business and I need connections with my bank, I need a bigger loan, who do I go to, where do I get that from? So now the Indy Biz Pass has that, creates that access for business owners. Here's a resource for you, here's how you get that resource if I need training. All of those things is a one-stop shop now. Okay, excellent. Broken down like a few others can. That is Wish TV contributor Emil Akior. Thank you so much for stopping by, sir. Thank you for having me.